after Soviet submarine and aviation reconnaissance on Friday, August 17, 1945, on August 19, an amphibious force of the 113th Rifle Brigade and a battalion of Marines of total force of 3,400 moved out from the town of Sovetskaya given on the Soviet mainland, and landed at Moku early in the morning of Monday, August 20. Due to heavy fog, there was no air support, and instead the city was subject to heavy artillery bombardment from the ships. Due to the element of surprise, the coastal facilities were quickly overrun, but later the Soviet troops were met with fierce Japanese resistance. Japanese sources state that their military tried to avoid engagement, keeping only defensive positions, while they were busy with evacuation of equipment and the evacuation of around 18,000 civilians. After the success of the assault, from August 22 to 24, Soviet reinforcements arrived from Vladivostok and proceeded to push the remaining Japanese forces out of South Sakhalin. According to refugees already evacuated from the area, Soviet forces carried out heavy naval bombardment and artillery strikes against Japanese installations in Moku and against civilians who were awaiting evacuation. Witnesses reported that the high level of civilian deaths were caused by the confusion of the European-style Kokum in Fuku outfits, men's approved civil attire, with military uniforms. A number of telephone operators of the city post office pledged not to evacuate and maintained contact with the city of Wakanai on the Japanese island of Hokkaido, as well as mainland Japan, until the moment that Soviet forces destroyed the telephone and postal installations in the city. On August 20, fearing that they would be raped by the invading Soviet troops, nine of the twelve female operators took their own lives. It was reported that the male and female survivors at the post office were treated well by the Red Army.